Max Fugler was a tough guy on the football field. He loved to hit people, and at a time when collegiate substitution rules were significantly different, he craved being on the field as much as possible. He hated to come out of the game, didn't want to come out of the game, but he had to because of the rules then. But he, he, he was a guy that uh, prepared well for the game, and lots of times when teams would come out of their huddle, he'd be on defense at linebacker, he knew exactly what they were going to do. Because he had studied films, he knew their formations, he knew exactly what they were going to do. And listen, that was a big mistake on their part because look, he was ferocious. He was quick and he loved to hit. And he always knew just about where that football was going to be. An All-America center and defensive lineman for LSU's 1958 championship team, the six foot one, 201 pound Faraday product was a stalwart on the famed white team of coach Paul Dietzel. He was an outstanding blocker on offense and played more minutes than any other player on that undefeated team. Ironically, Fugler started his LSU career as a running back. The name of the game in college football was defense and he was our best defensive player. Max was quick, he was smart, he was tough, he could uh, diagnose a play before it fully developed and he had the speed to, to get to the ball and uh, stop it. He's most known for leading a goal line stand against Ole Miss that preserved victory and earned him National Lineman of the Week honors. Fugler was one of two centers selected by the state sports writers on the 1969 all-time collegiate team. And in high school and college, his teams at Faraday and LSU were a combined 68 and 8. He is the seventh player or coach from the 1958 LSU team to be inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. He's probably as good an athlete, football player, is, that I, I ever saw. A lot of people think of him as a linebacker, in which he was, and he was a great one, and in my mind, probably as good as Louisiana has ever produced. 